Hi, thanks a lot for coming back to my kitchen. I love to cook, you know, a variety of things. Sometimes they're a little more complicated and sometimes they're kind of simple. And today's recipe is like really simple and it's one of those things that you use interesting items for to make the complete dish. Now, what I'm going to use today is some of those wonderful canned biscuits and then a can of the famous Campbell's, right? Campbell's cream of chicken soup. So these are going to go into the recipe. It's super easy and it's kind of exciting because I haven't tried it yet. Let's get started. Now I have to say I did embellish this a little bit. It, the recipe does not call for celery or onions but I just really think that it needs it. So you know I do. You don't have to put it in. I have to tell you though this is uh, the most beautiful knife I have used in a really long time nice people from Nakano. It's a Japanese company and they make a full line of knives. And they sent this to me and they said, we don't want you to do like an official review. What we'd like you to do is use it on, on camera and tell us what you think. And they've also given me a coupon code and that's down below in the uh, description box. So if you're interested in this knife, you can use that code and, um, and take some, uh, I think it's a 20% coupon code. So I think I'm just going to take half of that actually. And I'm just going to, oh gosh, this is an, oh my gosh, this is the first time I've used this knife and I want you to know, and I'm not a very good person with knives. I'm not like a professional person who uses knives, but oh my gosh, isn't that lovely? Oh, it goes, it's very smooth. It's um, a wonderful weight in the hand, which is always nice. Okay, so I've got, oh, maybe a half a cup of, um, of onion there. And I'm going to do the same here. I'm just going to strip out some of the celery just a little bit. I just think, um, you yeah, know, something like this tends to, yeah, there we go. Like I said, I'm not a professional knife user, but I sure know when I have a nice knife in my hand. And I'm sure everyone who does know how to use knives are probably saying, oh my gosh, what are you doing? But that's all right. That's okay. I think I'm just going to put a little bit more in here. Okay. Well, I want to thank the people from Nakano for this knife. And I encourage you, if you're interested, go to that website of theirs and take a look at it. Right, so I've got some onion and some celery there. And now I've got some cooked chicken breast here and it's going to be cubed. Now this is a little filet that I bought it, a boneless filet and uh, I need about a cup of it. And because it's so thin it will shred a little bit but that's all right. I think I might put just a little bit more of that in there. And I had just, uh, this was just baked chicken. You could use a rotisserie chicken, you know, if you had some rotisserie chicken left over or just any kind of uh, you know, chicken that you might like. So now this is going to go into it, my bowl that has a can of uh, cream of chicken soup in it. Hands are usually the best way to go on stuff like this. There we go. Set that aside. And then I have some cooked peas and carrots and those are going to go in. And I'm just going to, this is it. I'm just going to stir this up, get this all mixed up and then I will um, uh, bring you back when I'm, I've got the uh, biscuit mix and my little uh, muffin tin and we'll start to put these together. Well, so now I'm going to, <laughs> this is probably going to be the hardest part of this recipe, is, you know, it used to be you could just bang it on the counter, right? And it would pop open. But as, uh, as the years have gone by, it's not been quite that easy, but we're going to try it. They say to use a spoon, but that's the old fashioned way. There, look at there, they pop right open. Okay, so here we have eight. And the recipe says to just smush it out like that into a five, about a five inch 
uh, round. And I'm, I think I'm just going to do a little rolling. So we have a, a little easier time getting that size. You could do your hand. I guess I'm just trying to be a little more speedy here on this video for you. I guess we're going to see how this is. It might not be quite enough. You're supposed to put it in there, press it in firmly. So far so good. Might not be quite so even as we'd like it. Let's try that one there. Okay, and then the next step, and I'll do a couple here for you and then um, and then I'll finish it up. Now I did put some pepper in this mix, but I didn't put any salt in it because you know how uh, soup mixes can be and I did buy the one that has the less salt in it there see okay so you're supposed to bend this around like so to make your little chicken pot pie so I'm going to do another one I may have not um, spread that dough out as much as I probably could so we're going to try it again and I'm actually going to well maybe I can use my hand I don't think so. I'm going to try it here again like this. And my counter was very clean when I started this. So I, uh, my counters are always really clean. I'm kind of a fanatic about kitchen counters. All right, now I think we're getting into more of the, the zone of size that they, <clears throat> they asked for. So I'm going to bring this one in here and press it in. I don't know about folding that over. I think that's a mistake. I think that's just going to ooze out of there. So I'm going to put a little bit in here and then I'm not going to I'm not going to try to pull it over. I'm going to leave this open. It looks nice. I don't I'm not happy with that. So I'm going to fill the rest of this out and and I'll bring you back to show you how it looks and then it'll go into the oven. So I am done. And, and here's what, actually this was the director's idea and he was right on. Uh, this is, the, see, this is the one that I, I originally started with and I'm going to leave it that way. But he says, why don't you cut one of those, roll the, one of those biscuits out and make like a little lattice on top. So that's what I did. Now I did have to sacrifice a biscuit for that, but it's kind of cute. So um, I'm happy with it, you know, for a, one of these hack recipes, it's okay. So I'm going to go ahead and put this into a preheated 375 degree oven and it's going to bake about 30 minutes and I'm sure it's going to be nice and bubbly and golden brown and uh, once they are done I'll bring you back. Oh my gosh look how fun these look. Now this took 28 minutes in my oven and uh, they turned out very nice and golden brown and they I had put them on a cookie sheet afraid it would they'd boil over and they didn't so that was good so I'm gonna let these cool probably five minutes or, or so before I try to take them out of the pan well here we are and it popped right out I didn't have to fight it or anything let's take a look at the bottom how how lovely I'm very happy I'm very impressed uh, well we're gonna try it and see how uh, how it turned out and actually I left it in the pan really only about five minutes so it didn't uh, take a lot to uh, to get them out. It did. It just popped right out. Got a lot of biscuit action there. Open this up here and show you what it looks like on the inside. So I'm going to get a little forkful of this and I'm going to take a taste and we're going to check it out the flavors. It smells very nice. Let's take a gag, huh? Mmm, mmm. The celery stayed nice and crisp in there. Mmm, but it's done. I was worried. Mm. Excuse me. I was worried about the bottom crust. Maybe being a little soggy. It's not. It's very nice. It's like, you know, it's like a biscuit. This is pretty neat. I, I like this. I think this is a keeper. I definitely would add this to my repertoire of, you know, quick, easy things. And as I said, you don't have to add the onion or the celery. Um, 
but I did and I think it turned out very nicely it added a little extra flavor and um, and I like the lattice the lattice on the top that worked out well so this is a go I'm very happy and I also want to say I am very happy and I want to thank the Nakano people for sending me this knife as I said I I didn't mean to do like a review of it but I guess that's really what I'm doing and the one thing I didn't show you is they have a beautiful olive wood handle on this it's just a beautiful knife and a, a great edge and as I said I'm not a professional so I don't I don't do knives very well but I can tell this is sharp weights beautiful and I love it and I will leave you a discount code uh, down below in the description box where this recipe is there will be a description uh, of the knife and you can click on that discount code anyway thanks a lot for uh, showing up here in my kitchen today I hope you enjoy this recipe and I'll see you next time <music>